Today we want to demonstrate how the CTEC Flow VPX system allows you to monitor your sample inline for better and finely tuned process understanding and control. We'll be running an ultrafiltration diafiltration process with the CTEC Flow VPX system and CrossFlow FS15 system. For today's UFDF run, we will be using bovine serum albumin BSA at a starting concentration of 40 mg per mil and a starting volume of 1000 milliliters. The Flow VPX 10 mm flow cell uses half inch tri clamp connections to easily connect to any lab skid. We recommend connecting the Flow VPX system after the retentate vessel and before the parasaltic pump to avoid pulsation. Before starting the run, properly load the connected flow cell with the Viper software, refer to the Flow VPX system hardware manual or video on the subject for complete instructions. Once loaded, the user creates the method. Creating the method is done by inputting the desired wavelengths on the left side of the screen and selecting if the extinction coefficient in absorbance per centimeter is known. The known EC value for BSA is 0.67, so we can input that into the EC field. A run name will need to be input before being able to press the start icon. For the first ultrafiltration step, we will be bringing the solution from 40 mg per mil to 80 mg per mil before moving on to our diafiltration step. Now let's talk about the data collected from the Flow VPX system and the three graphs generated automatically within Viper. The Flow VPX incorporates variable path link technology, or VPT, to generate linearized concentration based on change in absorbance. Slope is the value created from the variable path length and change in absorbance. Concentration is calculated based on the slope values gathered in the EC value of the solution. The R-square graph is the linearity of the seven path lengths selected, in which we consider a reliable R-squared value to be equal to or greater than 0.999. Now that we have reached our desired concentration of 80 mg per mil, we begin our dye filtration step. For users looking to automate their setup, the Flow VPX system has Open Platform Communication United Architecture or OPC UA. Concentration thresholds can be used to trigger the next steps in your operation. We can demonstrate the sensitivity of the Flow VPX system by adding 1% of the current volume to the retentate vessel and tracking the one to one change in concentration reading. For this test, our starting concentration is 80.7 mg per mil. After recirculation of the solution with added buffer, the Flow VPX system records a concentration of 79.8 mg per mil. Now begins the final ultrafiltration step of the run. I will bring the BSA solution to a concentration of 120 mg per mil. If you are measuring using only volume, your final concentration can vary greatly, but using the Flow VPX system, which monitors concentration, you have a greater accuracy when reaching your final concentration. And once we've completed our UFDF operation, all that is left is to save the data and flush the system with the Flow VPX instrument running to ensure all protein has been removed from the line. The software will automatically save the run to a protected database in the background under the name given to the method. The database ensures data is preserved in the case of sudden power loss. To export the data, click the Export tab and then select whether to export it as a CSV or Excel file. And once the flush is successfully completed, we clean out the system with a 30 minute flush using 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide. Then flush the system with water and leave dry. And there you have it. With the Flow VPX system, performing inline bioprocess analytics is easier than ever and has a measure of accuracy that can't be beat. To discuss more options and what's right for your process, reach out to ctech.replogen.com or through our call line.